Good morning, everybody. This is Mitzi with Mitz Adventures. I can't believe I slept so late. I slept so good last night. And my NPR did work all night out boondocking by the river. But, uh, yeah, I got up once to go to the bathroom. Um, oh, I guess twice, maybe. I don't know, but I went back to sleep. And, uh, I slept, I was laying down by 8.30 or something like that. I slept, uh, I got up, I sat up, I had a cigarette, you know, when I woke up in the middle of the night. But uh, I woke up this morning, it was 9 something. <laughs> it was 9, 9.15 or something like that, and I'm looking and the sun's shining and, you know, everybody's sitting out <laughs> And me and Deborah, nope, no Deborah. <laughs> She's a gets up late like me, but it's uh, it was very relaxing. It was totally, totally no noise. I mean, we're close to a um, a road, and I could hear cars uh, yesterday when we were sitting out. And uh, at the beginning of the night, when I first got in my van, I saw lights and. Heard cars going by, but when I woke up, it I think it was like, uh, yeah, the last time I woke up, it was like four in the morning, and it was just nothing, no sounds at all, not even an owl, you know, it was cool. I expected some kind of, uh, you know, bug sounds, <laughs> but, uh, and it was pitch black. This little light that um, tells you your, uh, you know, those things you plug into the lighter. And it's it usually has a light on it somewhere to let you know it's plugged in. And uh, that little blue light just seemed way too intrusive. <laughs> I tried to pull it out, and it's so tight I'm not going to mess with it. But uh, it made it to where I could see, which is good, but it just seemed too bright for for the atmosphere that we're in. Anyway, <clears throat> we're probably going to stay here today, I think. And uh, I'm thinking we'll leave tomorrow because I think we're supposed to be there tomorrow to Deming. I think. I don't know. I, get, I'm, uh, I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure it's, I think it's Wednesday, so maybe we're supposed to be there today. I don't know. I have to look on my calendar after I get done recording. <laughs> I like that feeling, too. Who cares what day it is? Does anyone really know what time it is? <laughs> don't care. Got my coffee. Life is good. Yeah, life is good. Sorry, <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> there be cows on the Rio Grande. <laughs> Got to have a clip somewhere here in the next couple of weeks. Just hey, cow. Well, hell, I can just send them what is that? Whatever it's money some kind of a back on the road. waterfall. I had three new cars. <sighs> yeah, we built two of them. We bought one that was new. And due to circumstances, um, didn't record today at all, did I? Well, it's not daytime anymore. <laughs> it's the nighttime. We just ate. We had spaghetti and garlic toast. It was good. And now I think we're going to do a fire pit, a propane fire pit. You can still see a little bit. <laughs> I'm making up for not filming all day. <laughs> I'm going to film in the dark now. Isn't it beautiful here at night, though? So peaceful. Is that a star? Yep. Well, it's either a star or a satellite or something. 
It's something in the sky. Maybe it's a UFO. I should have it on so should have it on film just in case it's a UFO, huh? Can you see it, you guys? Know how to zoom in? Oh, yeah, I can zoom in. Just a second. I'm pretty shaky when I do it, but Okay, let's try that. Where are we? There it is. Can't miss it. What you think, guys? Is it a UFO? Hmm? Is that a UFO a out there? <laughs> How close are we to Roswell? One star, <laughs> right to the left, turtle rock. Boy, when I zoom in, it really does a bad picture, though. Let's see if that's a little better. I think that's Mars rising. Mars rising. That's a bright, bright, bright. Oh, goodness. I can't see you at all. So are, you gonna, are you going to go all the way down to 10 and cut over to Blythe? No, I, I never use 10. Um, unless I've got an appointment, I, there's no way around it. I don't get on I-10 at all. Ever. Okay. Huh. I thought 10 was supposed to be the best. Well, evidently she's in a rig that doesn't go. Well, it's the end of another beautiful day on the Rio Grande River. <laughs> <clears throat> having a wonderful time doing nothing. We ate good tonight. Had spaghetti. I made the garlic toast. She made spaghetti. And, uh, yeah. Had a good dinner. And there was one piece of garlic toast left, which I'm probably going to chew on tonight just for the heck of it. <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to leave tomorrow or not. Let's have to see what happens. It's really nice here, that's for sure. Had a little scare because uh, Pippa, uh, the poodle, uh, ran off. And she started calling it. It was down at the river, and then she went out of sight. And, uh, gosh, Deborah walked along the river forever calling Pippa. I mean, way down the river. And she came back and said, well, maybe I should uh, start the van, see if I can drive around and find her. And as soon as she started the van, I saw some movement in the little hill right next to where we were, like in the bushes. And she started the van, and here comes Pippa. So Pippa heard her calling her and just sat up there and played hide-and-seek from her. <laughs> little snot. <laughs> So she's she's on lockdown now. She's on a chain. <laughs> okay, everybody, have a wonderful day. I love y'all. Love you, Patty, and uh, stay happy. Um, is there something you want to do in life? Do it. Life's too short. Don't wait. Just do it. And uh, maybe I'll see you on the road somewhere. I'll talk to you tomorrow.